So we had set up our ground rules and then we had researched what are the domains in which we will do business and then we used our ground rules to establish what would be our priorities in working through those different domains. Now we were in a position where we had a strategy. However, we still did not know what are the challenges we would face and how we would overcome those challenges. To estimate what were the challenges we were going to face, we applied Potter Five Forces Analysis. Now, once we knew what our challenges would be, we could work out a plan for overcoming them. Now, the Potter Five Forces are as follows. First force is competition in the industry. Second force is barriers to entry. Third, power of buyers. Fourth, power of suppliers. And fifth, threat of substitution. The competition in the industry basically analyzes what competition we are going to face and how do we overcome that. Second is when in any industry there are some barriers to entering into the industry. Sometimes the barriers are minor and sometimes the barriers are major. So we need to understand whether we would face a very heavy barrier to entering into the business or not. Then we had to establish what is the power of buyers. That is what will make the buyers come to us or buyers whether they have the ability to buy from the products what we are going to supply to them. Then we had to establish the power of suppliers that because we would require some suppliers to be able to make our products. Now if the suppliers were too strong then we would be in a disadvantage because suppliers would dictate terms. So we had to understand what are the power the suppliers would impose on us. Lastly. We had to establish what are the threats to of substitution. That is, if we had a sale also, whether we could get substituted very easily by some other product or by some other company or not. So let's see what we did. I will tell you the order five force analysis for one of the business lines that we were going to work on. The business line which I use for illustration is custom application development. Now this business line has proved to be our major bread earner in the last nine months. So let us see what we thought about in the initial stage about this business line. Now the first parameter of Potter five force analysis is competition in the, in the industry. So we found that we had very dominant players in the industry already when we were talking about custom application development. Further, we found that the top 5 players were having as much as 78% share in the market and the top 2 players itself controlled 57% of the market. This means that they were very established players and they would not allow anyone else to walk into their domain. However, we had a strategy. First of all, we had partnerships like for example, we had partnership with Software AG. Software AG was very keen to do partnership with us basically because they were look, looking for a low cost vendor and a vendor who could provide good services for their products. Now using this partnership, Software AG could get business and they would pass it on to us to execute. Because Software AG if they executed themselves, they would be hugely expensive. So this was one of the mechanisms by which we could enter into this particular market. Secondly. We had connections through our old establishments and through our old relationship we had with various people. Some of them were even in the ministerial positions. So through this, we could get into some major companies like I have mentioned here. Now, I should mention here that though we used our connections to get an entry only to the extent that we got the RFP supplied to us. However, we did not take any advantage of our relationship with the, at any of the positions and we went through the fair channel of making our responses and winning bids through the responses that we made. We did not ask anyone for any kind of favor. Then we had established that we could provide a low cost alternative to custom application development by getting our development done in India and in Egypt. So both these locations we had our establishment and we could supply these solutions from making them in these locations and they would be cost effective for the customers. Second, we had to analyze what were the barriers to our ent entry. Now, like I told you earlier, the, there were major players and they would 
not like any newcomer to enter into this particular area. So this was an immense barrier for us. In fact, even after the fact that top two players controlled 57%, the biggest player controlled 28% of the market share. So this was an enormously huge giant who was there in front of us. However, we thought we will take it on and we did so. The third was the power of suppliers. We analyzed this first because we would require suppliers for making the solutions. Primarily because for making custom application development, we could not set up a team or such a large team that we would have all kinds of expertise within the company. This was not possible. And also we could not anticipate what were the technologies in which we would get to do software application development. Now, what we did was, instead of building our own teams, we established relationships with some vendors who could supply various kind of expertise to us. And these vendors had the needed bench through which we could get the resources immediately. This worked out very well. Actually, our relationship with these vendors worked out very well to the extent that we could commit to start projects within seven days of getting the order. So this was the way we established our relationships in the ecosystem and worked it out. Fourth was the power of buyers. Now we knew that the buyers would not be going for custom application development too much because now people more depend on ready-made solutions. However, we were very wrong in this anticipation. The amount of market that we found available for custom application development was enormous and more and more people wanted custom application development. Nevertheless, in the initial stage, we established that we would make solutions in cutting edge niche technologies like blockchain or data sciences where there would not be enough ready-made solutions available in the market. So this was our plan. However, though we are working on this plan now also, but we find that a lot of customers, they want custom made applications. Last was the analysis of the threat of substitution. Now we knew that once we made a custom application for a particular customer, there was no much threat for us to get substituted. This is because the customer would rely on us to make changes and upgrades of the same system and this would be very difficult for them to change vendor. So once we were in, we could stay in for a very long time. We analyzed each of the business domains against the Potter's five forces. Like it will be evident from what is discussed and also like I mentioned before, we did some more research as well, especially for the competition that we were going to face. However, now we were at a stage when we could establish our business canvas.